Hey everybody, Lake Surgeon Aquariums here today. Today I'm going to be talking about the blue-eyed lemon pleco, the bristlenose lemon pleco, some people call it. Uh, all otherwise known as the L144 pleco, if you want to get into the crazy code names that uh, all the pleco seem to have. But I'm going to keep it simple and go with the blue-eyed lemon pleco. So these guys are a really fun fish to have. Uh, it's actually one of my favorite fish that I'm currently keeping. I've had, I got this fish two years ago, I think, and the growth on this fish has been insane like uh when i'm standing 10 feet away from my aquarium this fish is the one that pops out it glows it really does super cool fish i love it uh super easy to keep too so if you're looking for just a bottom feeder in your tank i mean uh this guy's really gonna he's gonna fill that role in no problem so i definitely recommend picking one up or any bristle nose pleco really pick it up i mean they're super fun you don't really want to put pairs in, or like a, unless you know it's a male or female, because they are territorial. I've seen some pretty brutal pleco conflict. Even in a 55-gallon aquarium, they will go after each other. They are incredibly aggressive towards each other when it comes to the whole territorial pleco thing. But if you just get one, he's just going to do his thing, be a little rogue in there. He's not going to care. He's just going to do his thing and swim around the one i'm currently keeping i'm pretty sure is a female because he doesn't have the huge uh she doesn't have the the bristle nose like the big noodles on the face so uh, i'm sure you've seen that when you look up uh bristle nose pleco on google or something you'll see those huge bushes on their nose there's really alien looking but they're super cool but uh i'm pretty sure mine's a female but still i mean the color the scales on this fish are insane i mean you're just drawn to this fish the detail on it is insane um, nature did a really good job with this one so I and if you want to keep it in your fish tank it's super easy I mean really basic parameters they're really flexible when it comes to changes and stuff like that uh, diet I mean they're in the catfish family a lot of people think that plecos are going to eat poop and do that whole jazz but nothing's going to eat poop in your tank I can't stress that enough these guys will eat you know leftover fish food blood worms br uh, brine shrimp uh, a lot of vegetable matter and stuff like that like cucumbers are really good to get in their system I try and feed mine a cucumber once every two weeks once every week would be ideal but once every two weeks is my thing um, these guys also need driftwood in their aquarium because it really does help out with their uh, their digestion so when you see plecos usually they're on some wood and stuff like that so sucking on that helps their digestion out uh, super easy fish to take care of. I mean, if you really want a fish that's going to poke out and be that conversation starter with all your friends or whatever, I mean, this is a super fun fish to study and just, uh, uh, it's going to leave your, you know, schooling fish alone. So he's not going to go out and kill someone. But like I said, they can be aggressive towards other plecos. So be careful of that. But that's my two cents on the, uh, blue eyed bristle nose pleco, the lemon pleco. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and I hope you have a good rest of your day.